Hello Mr. Skills, first of all I want to congratulate you on how this season has gone with Arsenal, you are doing very good uh, at the moment. I also would like to talk to you about what is being developed on different websites and many comments of the Arsenal fans asking if they could have Gareth Bale uh, to play in an Arsenal kit. They would love to see this uh, in the near future, possibly winter transfer window. Uh, it's funny because I thought I was the only one who's noticed this. Um, yeah, a lot of people want Gareth Bale here. A lot of the, the Arsenal fans have been, uh, you know, hitting me with it. And, and for me, I want the best for the Gunners. Um, if it makes sense, I want to make the moves, okay? Um, the problem here is, is if you followed my career um, throughout the, the, the time that I've been a manager, uh, we did great things with Gareth Bale at the Red Devils. And, and Gareth Bale will always be a close player to me, but... Um, I want to do something different, and this is just me. I mean, if 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 the the viewers and and the fans of Arsenal see that the right move is to bring Gareth Bale to make us successful, then we make that move. But if you came up to me right now and said Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, Bale, Hazard, who do you want? Skills? I'm taking Neymarzito. I'm taking Neymar again. If it makes sense, Gareth Bale will be uh, a part of of the Gunners. If it makes sense, Neymar will be a part of the Gunners. Uh, winner transfer will be here very soon before we blink our eyes. Uh, so um, right now I'm just going to leave it up to the board. Uh, if you guys uh, really want Gareth Bale to, to sign with the Gunners, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I've been seeing it every single uh, time I look at the comments. So it's, it's, it's time you guys really let me know. Gareth Bale, yes. Gareth Bale, no. I was going to talk about something else. I completely I, I completely forgot. Um, I started thinking about, you know, um, the Flash series. I've been really into that, so I forgot what I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah. Um, Ibrahimovic healthy. Griezmann healthy. Walcott healthy. Uh, we're ready to take on Vardy. So let's go party. Let's go. All right, guys. So it's time to jump back into some BPL action. And we're taking on a team that is just absolutely... Let me just say right now, man. When this started happening in real life, when they went to first place, I was like, there's no way this is serious. I know Vardy's having a great season. But now that we passed the transfer window, now that we passed kind of the winter break, they're serious, boys. They're contenders, and everyone has to open up their eyes to them. Arsenal keeps slipping up. They had a chance to really make a move this year, and I'm not saying Arsenal's out of it, but they really got to get it together in real life if they want to take this league this year. So anyways, man, as we go back into our career mode, Arsenal chilling in second place behind Spurs by just three points, which is lovely. We're taking on Vardy, a.k.a. he wants to party, and uh, hopefully we're not going to get hit with one of those bangers like Liverpool got hit. And then we have Champions League football, so so a lot of action going on today. Also, when I train my players, I will start training players under 80 overall. People in the comments down below are like, Skills, why are you training players like Sanchez and uh, Walcott? Train the players that are under 80 overall. So I will do that. Players like Campbell. I get it. I understand. We'll do that in training. And either way, neither here, neither there. It's time to jump into this match. And hopefully we can do some great things uh, in this game. We're away. Ibrahimovic and Sanchez and Griezmann will be up top. Luis Gustavo Uzil and Ramsey. No, I'm going to change it up and go Santi Cazula Uzil and Luis Gustavo to give that team, give us a little bit more of that passing ability in the midfield. Walcott on the bench. Uh, could start Walcott possibly. Now, nah, you know what? I'll keep Griezmann in there. He's been fantastic for us. I'm also going to make sure Ox Chamberlain comes with us. Rosicki was great for us in the last episode, uh, but I think I'm going to start the team off like this. A lot of players have been getting playing time. As you guys have seen, I've pretty much rotated everybody into the team so far, except for about three players and the goalkeeper being one of them, the backup goalkeeper. Um, so I'm doing good rotating players. This game will be very difficult, so I don't want to rotate players for this one, but we'll rotate some new faces into the Champions League game coming midweek right now time to focus and make sure we catch spurs they're three points ahead boys let's go so as we look at the lineup it looks like they're running a 4-4-2 but the 4-4-2 with two defensive players because they have inler as you guys know a fantastic midfielder up top they have vardy eh, you know what that lineup looks pretty good man let's beat it let's go i'm gonna find something i see santi cazola whoa i wanted santi it goes to ozil Luis Gustavo, look at the overlap from my right back. Bang it! Oh, not enough, enough power from Bellarini. I always say his name wrong. I think I'm saying it wrong because you guys always troll me in the comments when I say his name. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong, but hopefully I'm saying it right. Grizz and Ibra. I'm going to slow down and wait for Sanchez. I do that exactly. I give it out to Sanchez. This is big right here. I turn the Jets with Sanchez. Big opportunity. I see us. Uh, 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 wait, wait. Pen! Ref! Ref! Please! Sir! 
Ref, oh wow, that is incredible, game, 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 don't do me like that, man, boys, let me know in the comments down below, penalty or nah, can't get that one, I miss it, Endler, passes it to Vardy, don't let this mother suck a party, nice pass up top, we take pass up to Ibra, Ibrahimovic, nice little ball roll, Ibrahimovic still with, I'm waiting for Grez with that overlap, Grez, 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 I find him, the French, been going at him, let's go, let's go, nice cut inside, I see Ibrahimovic back pose, Ibrahimovic, please, finish, oh, what a, what a tackle, legit, and they're calling a foul on Ibra, what a tackle, what a block by the center back, nice pass, Vardy's in there like swimmer, Kashoni, please, Vardy shoots it, Almost 1-0, Petrcek had to save the day. Big ups to Petrcek saving us right there. A massive opportunity, we get lucky. Ball to the middle, check. It had to knock it away, you could have grabbed that, right, check? All right, boys, so we make it to halftime and it's nil-nil. And I legit feel like we should have been awarded a penalty and we weren't. Now in the comments down below, people have begged me to change the formation. I haven't done it yet for the simple fact of this. Boys, playing against Legendary is very difficult. If you play against Legendary, you'll know how hard it is. Um, if you play on World Class and you think that's hard, just imagine Legendary, it's even harder. Um, so that's the reason I haven't changed the formation yet because I don't. I, I stay with what I'm comfortable with, when I, especially when it's very, very hard. I'm going to change it to a 4-1-2-1-2 to see how we perform in this second half. I'll leave Luis Gustavo with. I'm going to bring Walcott to play right mid. Sanchez won't really be involved that much no more because he's so deep back. But Ibra and Grizz will be up top, Uzel behind them. And again, going to this formation, which gives me wingers for Walcott and Sanchez, we kind of lose the ability to play Ramsey, Wilshere, Santi Cazola. We don't have that many midfield spots now, so we'll rotate them as much as we possibly can. Here they come, man, playing great football. Away to them, it's, that hasn't been easy. They cross it, into the middle, the header. Oh my God, Inler should be up 1-0. Oh, it's offside. Wow, it's offside, but my goodness, what a play from them right there. How are they in 10th place playing this type of football? Still can't steal it. Still can't steal it. Look at the passing. My midfield's getting dominated. Now the shot from distance. You know what? I ain't even scared. You're not beating Mr. Petacek from there. We haven't even been able to touch the ball since we moved formations. Ball to the wing. Ball to the middle. Stones gets there. Check. Nice. We have literally not touched the ball since I changed formation. What am I going to do here? I'm going to go up to Sanchez, who's not really going to be involved now that he's so deep in the game, I believe. Here comes Sanchez, though. He's still on it. Walcott, get forward quicker. There you go, Walcott. There you go, Walcott. Please, Walcott. Please, Walcott. Let's go, baby. Did you see how long I had to wait with Sanchez for Walcott to finally make that beautiful run? I held it for ed forever. Walcott missed the first one, found the second one, puts it into the back of the net. For us to get our left mid and our right mid going in a 4-1-2-1-2, you got to hold the ball up heavy. And that's okay because we have Ibrahimovic and he can hold the ball up pretty damn well. We're up 1-0 in a game that we probably don't deserve it against the run of play to be honest with you but we'll take it now let's defend it and not get scored on i send that around nicely Uzil, i was waiting for something i go to ibrahimovic ibrahimovic with an opportunity for that shot how does that not go into the back of the net unlucky sanchez finds the big ibrahimovic and he couldn't tuck it home okay somehow they're still with it somehow they're still with it kashoni i need a great defense down the wing that's that's Uz that was better check I swear, I didn't even, I don't even know what just happened. I don't know what just happened, but somehow they don't score. Wal Walcott, Luis Gustavo. Yes, my man Ibrahimovic finds the, the, the right back, Bellarini. He's wide open. I got to slow down. I had nowhere to go. I had to slow down. I go up to Ramsey, please. Wow, how did we just lose that? How did we just lose that to Inler? A massive opportunity from the counter. Kershawny comes up massive. And then we lose it again with Luis Gustavo. Foul him. Foul him. How does he not get fouled there? How does he not fall? Please. Kershawny, the header. Yo, bro, I'm literally, I don't understand how they're attacking us like this. I don't get it. I'm doing everything to stop it, but they're attacking the nonsense out of us, and I don't like it, man. Wobek, go. Wobek, go. Go, baby. Wobek, nice. Wobek, finish. Finish. Okay, how do you not finish this, man? What's happening? What is happening to Arsenal? Yo, the Gunners should be up. What the? I missed the foul. Ref, he's offside. No, they're onside. Holy shabalala, Vardy. Vardy. Check! Vardy misses! Yo, how did Vardy just miss that? Yo, how did Vardy... Was that Vardy? Yo, was it Vardy? I think it was Vardy, right? Was that Vardy who missed? Dangerous. Kashani misses the tackle. Stones misses the tackle. Opportunity. The shot. Check it. Can he get to it? Did he, he didn't touch it. Ref, he didn't touch it. Ref, I see. He didn't touch it. Ref, he didn't touch He touched it. Shit. Ball to the middle. Stones blocks that one. Let's go. Walcott gives it away. To the middle. Check. Hold on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it, yo. Hold it for real. For real. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to throw it down here. 
Walk it up real slow. Game over. Three points. Breathe. Breathe. Wow, my dudes, man. That was incredible. We should have lost that game, man. We legit should have lost that game. We walk out of here with a victory, which we do not deserve in any way. And people in the comments said, Skills, why, why not switch the formation? 4-3-2-1 allows me to have position or possession against Legendary. At halftime, I'm pretty sure the possession was almost balanced. Second half, look at that, boys. We got annihilated, man. I couldn't touch the ball. Their midfield dominated us. Yes, we did get a goal when we went to the 4 1 2 1 2. But I don't know if I'm good enough at the game or comfortable enough against Legendary to switch away from what works. I'll figure it out for sure. I promise you guys, I am going to try to go to a new formation so you guys can see different type of gameplay. I don't really know if the formation matters that much to you guys, but I've seen in the comments down below where people are like, Skills, you said you were going to switch. Why don't you switch? Um, maybe eventually we will switch, man. But it's Champions League football time. Ox Chamberlain hasn't got a lot of playing time. Um, kind of want to start him over Walcott. And you know what? I'm going to. Ox, Wobeck, Grizz up top, Wilshire, Cochran, Ramsey, Koscielny, Gabriel. And then we're also going to bring in Gibbs from Monreal. Uh, where's Gibbs at? There we go, man. So there you have it. Should I, take, should I bring in Dabuchi as well? I think why not, man? Why not give it a whole go? How about I give it a, like a whole twist and, and, and turn? Dabuchi getting a start. So that's our starting 11 for the Champions League. Hopefully we can get another three points in the Champions League and be top of the table with six points. It's a big game. I want to win it. All right. So we're back in front of the Gunner fans. We're back in our home stadium. And I'm happy about that, yo, because... Wow, the last game was so disappointing. I just want to get back in front of our fans and play some good footy for them. Uh, get a victory and get these three points in the Champions League, boys. The last game was really like, it was almost a shot at my confidence because I feel good with this Arsenal team. But in the last game, we really got attacked. We didn't touch the ball much. It was just a disappointing game for us. So hopefully this game, I can get my confidence back. I'm going to put high pressure on, try to win the ball back quickly off of them. A lot of Brazilians play for this Shakhtar team. They have a lot of talent, man. Nice step, nice, nice step back. A good find. Tyson, the shot. It goes back to Tyson. Another shot. Petr Cech, hold on. We got, we, we, we're getting attacked. It's Griezmann, our best free kick taker on the field. It looks like it. He has a lot of power, so we're going to bang it from distance. Let's go. Griez, can he get it over the wall? He does. It's floating, and it floats too much. I'm going to cut back inside. Griez, still with it. The shot goes right to the keeper. I should have waited, sent the ball down to Ox, let Ox do what Ox does, but... Mess that one up completely. Ox, I wait for Welbeck to make the overlap. I bang it up. He's going to... Uh, yes, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Grace, hold it. Nice. Yo, this is nice. We'll share. Nice. Beautiful. Gibbs. Um. 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 Yes. Yes, boys. I couldn't even commentate. I didn't know what to do. It was like I was... There was bounces happening. Welbeck hits the back of the net in the Champions League. Call him Mr. Champions League because he's going to be our Champions League striker, I believe. Big, at least in the group stages. If we make it out, then we'll put Ibra in when the game start getting real, real difficult. Cocklin, up to Grizz. Let's go, baby. I suck at saying names. Don't judge me. Oh, wait. Past that. Beautiful. Get Gibbs, please. Let me say this. Let me let me wait. Let me wait. Wait. Where if he found me, didn't he? Doesn't matter. We're still with it. Gibbs, get forward. We saw a shot in the last episode. It was terrible. Ramsey. Finally, a pass connects with Ramsey. Debucci getting into the box. What do I do? I'm gonna cut back. Please. Yo, Ox, send it to Ramsey. I hit him. Ramsey, Finesse. Oh, baby, baby. How is that not in the back of the net? Not even a corner? Wait, you're trying to tell me he missed it? You trying to tell me he fluffed it? You trying to tell me my man Ramsey missed that? Now what? Ramsey to the middle, Gibbs. My man Cocklin's with it. Wait, that's Ox Chamberlain. Just kidding. Where the Jets from Ox? Where the Jets from Ox? Come on, baby. He got so much speed. But I can't use it. Where's that pace? My man Fred. Fred with a lot of space in front of him. Gabrielle chasing him down. Fred still with it. Ball to the middle. Gibbs. Nice. It falls back to him. That's not on them. Ref, we didn't touch that. I ain't getting by nobody here. Yo, somebody help me. That's a great find. Wilshire. Oh, snap. Grisman. The shot goes right to the keeper's hands. Yes, three points in the Champions League, boys. Three points in the Champions League. It wasn't the prettiest but it also wasn't the ugliest. They really didn't have that many chances to score on us. We controlled the midfield, 
Conklin was amazing. Apologies if I say his name wrong or Grisman's name wrong or anybody's name on the team. I apologize. I'm bad with names. But as you guys can see, boys, 4-3-2-1, even with kind of a second team, man. Uh, even though when I say a second team, we'll share Conklin Ramsey's a phase, a, uh, an amazing midfield. But 57% possession against a great team in Shakhtar. All right, guys. So as you guys see, the comments told me to train people under 80. So that's what I'm doing. Campbell, Welbeck, Conklin, Bellerini, and Gabriel. I'm going to sim all of them right there they were under 80s when i did it you guys told me to train players under 80 so as you can see i do it d b d f d that's really bad up next we got the red devils you guys know what they mean to me man because we trained them in the last uh, uh last series of career mode now we're gonna play against them boys we're top of the table arsenal all right so there's our group man barcelona has lost two games that is massive they lost to shakhtar um, and they also lost to Bayer Leverkusen. We have beat Shakhtar and we have beat Bayer Leverkusen. Now, if we beat Barcelona, we literally could be putting ourselves in a position to be pretty much qualified before the second round even starts. And we could almost be putting Barcelona in a position where they get eliminated from the Champions League. Let me know if you think it's actually a big deal whether I change the formation or not. As you guys can see, I performed better with the 4-2-3-1. Um, but I want to do what you guys want me to do and what you find entertaining. If you find me getting attacked and not winning as many games entertaining, we can switch the formation up, right, guys? But just remember, it's on legendary and it's very difficult. It's been your boy, Double A Nine Skills. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash a big old thumbs up. Remember to let me know in the comments down below if you actually guys, if you guys actually want Gareth Bale here, because I keep seeing in all the comments of every video. And thank you guys so much for watching me. And make sure to hit that big subscribe button. The Arsenal career mode going well, and I will see you guys back here for the next one. That's a booyah. We out. Here. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another Arsenal press conference. I'm gonna just jump directly into the questions as there is a lot going on here at Arsenal. Uh, so let's let's go into it. Bob, you you can go first. Yeah, there was a lot of people saying the way Arsenal has kind of not been performing the way they did in the beginning of the season is due to you possibly wanting to trade Uzil away. Says that that's having an influence in the locker room. How do you feel about the Arsenal drama? And what can you say uh, uh, that you can do to fix this issue? I'm not sure what you mean about drama.